fam welcome back to my channel in today's video we are in my laundry area slash laundry nook laundry room and i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i built this countertop as well as these two floating shelves so if you want to know how i built this then stay tuned all right guys i'm just going to jump right into this video i will be inserting clips throughout the video so you can see exactly what i did instead of me just sitting here explaining it you will have a visual of you know what i did so to start with i did decide to paint the walls black i love this color black it's throughout my home in different areas it's tricorn black and i want to say it's by sherwin williams if i remember correctly and it's just a super super nice matte black so that is what i did for my pop of color and then after that i got to get started on my countertop this is a 16 foot board and it is a two by 10. So it's a two by 10 by 16 foot long um, piece of wood from Lowe's. And I wanna say it was only 30 bucks. And I got it cut down to three different pieces. This area here is about five feet, five inches or five feet, four inches. So I got it cut down to the exact size that I need. They're all the same size, obviously. And then um, once I did that, I came home, two weeks passed by and then finally, <laughs> I decided to start working um, on this little countertop project. Um, I'm just gonna disclaimer, I was deep conditioning my hair and I was not putting on any real clothes because I knew how messy this was gonna be. And I just was not in the mood to be cute for anybody. I was in the comfort of my own home. You know, I was chilling. So don't come for me in the comments about how busted I look. I know, okay, I know. So the first thing I did was sand each piece down i used 80 grit i used 120 grit and then i used 220 grit and the 220 grit is was like my favorite because it really made everything nice and smooth which is why i can rub my hands across it you know everywhere and i can like sit on top of this without fear of getting a splinter so i really really love that after i sanded everything down i did go ahead and stain them separately because i wanted to lay them out to figure out how i wanted them to sit on this um how i wanted them to be in the countertop per se so like there was a piece that had a crack in it so i made sure like that one was towards the back so i did that and then once i figured out how where i wanted each piece at i went in with some liquid nails and i put that in the seams of each piece of board and then I took like this bicep thing and <laughs> and I made sure that you know it applied pressure and it stayed overnight so that it would dry nice and tight and sturdy and then I also put two pieces of scrap wood on the ends of it because I was like oh what if the liquid nails doesn't hold and blah 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 so I put two pieces of scrap wood um on the on the edges of the countertop area you'll see in the video clip just to give it you know some more stability which i really really loved and i really do think that helped uh, with the stability of this and after that i went in again and sanded so but this time i only sanded with the 120 and then the 220 just so i can make sure that everything was like nice and level and there was like no lumps and bumps in case the wood moved a little bit um, so I made sure everything was nice and sanded and leveled down. And then I went and stained this whole piece together um, again one more time, let that dry, and then brought it into the house. And I am in love. Like, I love this. I don't know how I live my life without a countertop or like a folding table or whatever you want to call this. I really don't know how I like how have I been living my adult life without one of these? I haven't because you know what I do? I take my clothes out of the dryer and then I pick my clothes out of the laundry basket throughout the week that are in the dryer. I know you know what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. So now I pull my clothes out of the dryer and I fold them on top of here because I'm an adult, okay? That's what adults do. They fold their laundry when it is done. So this just really helps me fold my laundry and I really, really love it. I love the look of it um next thing i did was start the shelves which i love they're super super sturdy like they're not going anywhere i could literally stand on top of this but i'm not about to get up okay so the shelves are actually made of the same type of wood as the countertop but instead of um, two by ten the shelves are actually two by twelve and i got a 12 foot board and just had that cut in half pretty much um i got two by twelve because i wanted the shelf um depth to be obviously as what do you call this as deep as possible because i'm short 
and I didn't want to have to be like reaching like super far to try to get to something because before it had this like ugly you know those wired laundry shelves that they put everywhere for whatever reason it had one of those and it was like way up here and I couldn't reach anything so it just really wasn't functional at all so I wanted to make sure that the depth of the shelf was going to be good enough for me so I made sure that these were two by twelves did the same thing sanded it down uh, with the 80 120 220 and then stained it and then um after that we came in and made sure that where we wanted the shelves would fit the shelves are about 16 and a half feet up feet girl 16 and a half inches apart and they are sitting on two pieces of like two by threes like one on this side and one on this side which you'll be able to see in the clip of like how that looked and I literally just sat the board right on top of those two by threes because I really thought I wanted this raw unfinished look nah so after a few days of looking at it like that I was like nah this is ugly like this isn't right I don't really like how this looks it's not it just wasn't looking nice it wasn't looking finished it was looking raggedy that's honestly the way it was looking so I decided that I needed a finishing piece in the front which is why this piece of wood here is um, slightly different in color than the countertop. It's because I got it in a different area. So I actually got this like one by, this is like one by eight feet or like one by 10 feet or something like that. Um, one by four, like this is four inches. This is four inches. And then it's like one inch thick. So, <laughs> um, I got this in like the trim area and it's like naturally a lighter colored wood than, you know, these were. So when I put the stain on it, it really didn't do much. And I tried to put a different color stain on it, but again, like that didn't really do much. And I was like, oh, am I going to have to like take it off and go get like some different, like get the same ones and like, but I was like, I really don't feel like doing that because I've been at this for probably like a little over a month. So... I figure once I get all the decorations up and everything, you won't really be able to tell. And I feel like you can tell right now is because that's all you see. So I'm hoping once I get the decorations up and, you know, everything is filled out, you won't really be able to tell. But if I can tell, like, I will be updating you guys because I'll be taking this this piece of uh, front, like, trim piece off. But I do love having this front um, piece on here because it really, like, instantly changed it like and you'll see like obviously in the video like the way i had it looking before girl i was toe up and now it looks like complete it looks finished it looks like a real like floating shelf and i'm super super happy with you know the end product so yeah i want to say that is everything like this project even though it like took me a long time it was super simple to do and i'm really excited because i'm going to be building floating shelves everywhere around my house now <laughs> Alright guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this project. Super simple, super easy. Like I said, um, I'm going to be building these shelves everywhere in my house. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned. Um, subscribe to my channel because I do have my home goods haul that is coming up with all the goodies and home decor items that I picked up for this space, as well as the final reveal and how I put everything together. So be on the lookout for those videos. Please, please, please subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.